What's up, y'all? Well, today I'm working on some art for this enemy guy that, um, well, so, so far he's this, well, I won't explain too much about him right now because I already have in the past couple streams, but basically he's your friend. He's one of the scouts. Um, this is a spoiler alert. Um, yeah, he's one of the scouts that you originally start the game with when you're in the intro he's one of these scouts that goes off on the bikes he crashes his bike too so yeah he's one of the bosses that you fight because he's mind controlled his mind has been corrupted by worms so anyways i'm doing all the pixel art for him today finally i'm really happy with how he's looking in the game and with the pixel art here and it's a really simple um, I focused on simplicity here with this, so in, in the colors. So there's only two bluish colors. There's like only three pinkish colors. There's only two greens and two of these yellows. So anyways, it's a very simple color palette, which helps to really, when you're having to like, you know, pixel like 17 different files with five to six frames each, at least, you know, you got to like, Keep it simple where you can. So, my goal today is to finish all the art here. I've got about, I don't know, maybe 12 of these left to do or so. It's going to take a while, probably. But I'm enjoying myself. I like this. So, I need to do Kel's. I need to work on his sword. I've got to think of a better name for him, too. It's too close to Bell. Anyways. Let's get this thing all set up. So the first thing I'll do is just get the document set up, which has to be done kind of for each one of these. All right, good thing. This is actually this frame right here <coughs> is pretty close to how his body would be for this frame here. Might as well get my graphics tablet. A little faster. It's nice that the art is at this point where it's kind of like I'm settled settled on how he looks so I can confidently go through each one of these files and just like yes this is the color this is the color everything should be and so I can just kind of rip through the pixel art as fast as I can
Actually, dang. I think I might actually be faster with the mouse now. This is crazy. Yeah, dang. I think I'm actually slower. Dude, this is scientific. We got to be scientific about this. Yeah, dang. I think I'm a little faster with the mouse for doing this kind of editing, at least, when I'm already happy with the colors and the shapes and everything. All right, well, let's get him standing right. What's up, Eves? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, Pax, publisher. Yeah, so Songbringer is coming out on um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as well. And so it's going to be a simultaneous launch. So we're doing Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox all at the same time. And it's going to be this summer. So we have a rough released or release window, you could say. So this summer it's coming out. Pretty excited. The game's getting close to being finished now. The ending's almost finished. Um, it's just a couple little things left to finish here with like the ending, like finishing this character basically is this pixel art for this guy. And then going through the whole last dungeon a few times, you know, and like making sure the last dungeon kind of feels really right and all the story elements happen at the right time and um, and all the bosses feel really cool going through that. Yeah, so it's really satisfying and, and like uh, relieving to have the game kind of finished now with the ending at least in place. You know, it's not quite finished, but with the ending done, it's like, yes. You know, I'm, I'm like, I feel really relieved. It's really nice. How about yourself, man? How you been? What's new? Okay, so this is kind of cool doing this animation because this is actually locking in the idle east as well. Let's do that right now. Uh, no, so they do not support um, Xbox and PlayStation with Coco's 2DX. Um, what uh, what they do is my publisher, Double Eleven. Um, yeah, this is their website. Um, they have uh, they wrote their own engine. Basically, they have their own like engine that handles PlayStation and Xbox. It's all custom. Like they've they've had it for years, so like it's 
really fast at this point. They've done it so many times. They've optimized so many games with it that like, you know, they have a they have a pretty rad engine. So I'm lucky. I'm really lucky that Double Eleven like has so much experience like you know doing this before with other games. So yeah. So this will be one of their their latest releases. Double Eleven also did um Limbo. They're the ones that brought Limbo to Xbox. And I think PlayStation, I don't know. Yeah, Goat Simulator and what else? Oh, Prison Architect. They did Prison Architect for the for the consoles. What's up, Diamond Killer? You got some good progress on your game? Sweet, man. Right on. I want to see some of these awesome shots. Oh, what's what is a maze? Where is that at? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so Double Eleven does the port. So basically, um, my company, Wizard Foo, will be responsible for the Steam version, right? So I'm 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 doing the PC version, the the Mac version, the Linux version, the GOG version, anything that comes out on basically your 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 PC, and um, oh, it's in Germany. Cool. Right on. Yeah, and then Double Eleven is doing the Xbox and um, the PlayStation version, and um, and all and all like the other like you know consoles and mobile and stuff like that. They'll handle that. They're they've done that, so they're gonna be like they're the ones that are they're porting it all. So yeah, I don't have to do any of the port work, which is great because it's already a lot of work making a video game, let alone porting a video game. Oh, in Germany, huh? I bet you, um, Stefan Hoffelbrinks will be there. The he's the one that makes um Death Trash. Yeah, I would love to say hi to that guy sometime. If you see Stefan Hoffelbrinks, say, say hi to him for me from Wizard Foo. Cool, check out these awards and stuff. This is sweet. Talks and workshops. This is kind of like our GDC a little bit. And the expo. Has an expo. Or exhibition. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Grim Gary? Cool, man. This sounds like a fun one. And when is this again? Um, what's the date? Oh. Ah, here it is. April. Oh, it's coming up. Right on. They keep asking me to save. All right, so I'm gonna start this animation. Let's get this background color looking better. Ah. How y'all? How you been, Grim Gary? What's up, man? Doing all right? You did your first live dev stream? Dude, congratulations. 
Right on, man. Yes, dude, good for you. That's cool. How did it go? How did you like it? What'd you do? Hey, what's beam? Ooh, let's do something cool here where he's like, it was quiet. Oh yeah. What'd you do though? I know what that's like when it's quiet, man. Every one of my, every one of the first like month, all the whole, the full first month I started live streaming, there was like no one in the chat. They're all still on YouTube. You can see there's like barely anybody would ever chat. But then all of a sudden, after a while, you know, it started picking up and people started like remembering and, sh and like watching the chat and, or, and or people chatting and oh, bug fixes and AI. Sweet, man. Cool. Good for you, man. Whoa, you did a charity 24 hour stream? Dang. I've always been intimidated about doing a 24 hour stream. I don't want to do it that long. Right? Like, I have to constantly be like, oh, sorry. Be right back. I'm going to go take another shit, you know? Right? I know. 24 hours is such a long time. And you, so you got to, like, stay up that whole time, or do you just take a nap and, like, I don't know, try and entertain people some other way. <laughs> really? You you ate spicy pizza at the end? Oh damn. Damn dude. Oh, you've been watching this for years now? Oh, it's cool, man. That's cool. I know it's been years, right? I, I streamed every single day from the very beginning of making Songbringer. I've streamed three to five times a week. Sweet, dude. You're going to do this month's Ludum Dare. Cool. Oh, wait. So you're going to, um, you're going to switch to Twitch? You're going to ditch the beam and go for the Twitch? Right, yeah, still, it's a long time, right? I hope it's been informative, interesting, and inspiring, and perhaps educational. Mostly just good laughs and some reality. You know, it's not all, it's not all, it's not all shits and giggles. Forgot about it. I was animating this guy. Maybe I should keep doing that. Oh, okay, cool. I got this idea. I'm going to try him swinging his sword around. Nice. Oh, cool. So you had friends and games. Yeah. I know. I've, I've found that too. I kind of need to have a separate... I need to have a separate rig for for streaming, you know, next game, hopefully Songbringer makes a few dollars and then I can buy a good streaming rig. So it's just have a dedicated PC just to, that runs the stream and encodes the video and all that. Oh, wow, dude, staff on beam, huh? Wolski, what's up? Hey! Yeah, of course, man. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I need to I need to get something like that where you know, or like do they make like dedicated stream boxes? Like just all I want is like a box that streams. That's all I want. I I know I can build one, but like, you know, what's the optimal video card and all that kind of stuff? All right, so this layer right here, we're gonna do this effect. Like this is where I would want my. That's where I would would have wanted. You know what? I can do this with the mouse too, man. I could pixel art with the mouse or with the graphics tablet. Whoops. Or with the graphics tablet. Anything is possible. All the doors of life are open to me. <laughs> Why do I keep filling this and it's not working? Oh. Uh, what son of a Oh, it's, it's going to be contiguous for that. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm, I got this idea where he can like swing his sword around. I know, right? Freaking fill tool. Yeah, all right, so this layer, his sword will be the other way. I guess I could duplicate this too. Hmm. Oh wait, and then I need to duplicate this layer. For that. All right. Cool. Kind of got this set up right. All right. All right. We really need to work on that. Right? Yeah. Modern gaming PC for sure. Oh, really? So they have this ded dedicated webcaster thing, but you can't do Twitch with it? Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably just build a custom PC. Wolfski. So what um what's this character's story? This looks really cool, man. Um what's his What's his underwear made out of? And what's this material here? This thing that's covering his chest a little bit and the stuff that his underwear is made out of. What material is that? And what kind of metal is this? Are his eyes gonna look like that? Or is his eyes gonna have like, cause it's cool, I like the white, but like, is that, is that done? Are his eyes done? Yeah, yeah, one powerful PC. Oh, you're right, 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 but I mean like what, oh, sorry, what I meant was, um. 
what material like what is this tell me more about this character like what what actual material he looks like he's like some kind of cool sci-fi character right he's got some I'm, I'm curious i'm like what is this like tell me like what is what is this actual metal for this character in the world that he's in like what metal is this and like what is this underwear made out of what features does it have how can i be more excited about this character because he's really intriguing you know what i mean these awesome robot arms things and stuff. Oh, and then this bottom thing, is he actually an android? Wait, his his ankles make me think he's an android. Sentence to live in a hellish planet for a crime he didn't commit. Whoa. Oh, a trial where he lost his arms? Crazy. That's cool, man. I think you got I think you got a crazy cool character going here. Cool. Sci-fi medieval. Right on. That's some of my favorites right there. You put them both together, I'll be like, yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. I think I just complicated this way too much by adding in this this thing. But, I don't know. This animation, I'm not sure how much it will play. So I'll go ahead and give it a try. Yes. Ah, right on. Cool. So their materials are like stronger materials. Right? I love sci-fi fantasy. Sci-fantasy. Oh, they're heavier materials. Interesting. Cool. I love that. Change up the physics of the world a little bit. Right on, man. Cool, so you're making a mini demo for school, that's great. Yeah, dang, I don't need to spend this long on this one thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this the simple way and just give up that little animation, make this more simple. This is all this needs to be. Hmm.
Yeah, okay, we'll put in there. Idle sword east is oh already deleted, very nice. Ah, oh, really? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be necessary for this character. So, let's go do... Um, that was just to get that. So we could do the running... No, not the running sword east, but the sword zero east. Yeah, alright, cool. Anyways, let's get back to this animation. Alright, so... In fact, he could probably be a little taller. Get back up to his full height. He's not squatting quite as much in this frame. Hmm. Cool. Yay, I love the rain. Okay, so what kind of attack is he going to be doing here? Got seven different frames. And I'm going to do two different attacks. I think I'd like to do the one, both of them, where he attacks overhead. Seems more brutal. Yeah, so he immediately jumps in the air. This is quite a few pixels in the air. And then goes one more pixel and then, whoo. Yeah, I kind of want both of his animations to do that. So I can get rid of zero east then. But just keep that that little file there. Focus on one east first. <laughs> Leg sweep attack. So we could. Oh man, this makes me think of E Honda, or not E Honda, but um, what's the dude from? From Street Fighter that was all green. What was that guy's name? He's like an animal. He had green and he had red hair. He kind of looked like this. <laughs> Sweep the leg. Blanca, that's right. Oh, yeah. Blanca. All of a sudden, I get this feeling like subconsciously this is Blanca right here. I just drew Blanca without even thinking about it.
All right, let's merge these layers, make this a little less complicated to work with. Oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna call this guy yet. Um, his name's, well, so far Kel. Let me show you what he looks like in the game. It's a little bit better when you see it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking his name's gonna be Kel. Or I, I've originally named him Kel, K-E-L-L, -L, but it's too much like Vel. So close to Vel that like, I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna rename him something else. So I'm open to suggestions. If there's something that like you're like, oh, this would be the cool Stephanie. Oh, uh, Stephanie's. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> Call him Whisk. That's pretty cool. Wallace, Herbert. <laughs> Gertrude. Barney, how about Barney? So yeah, here in the game you can kind of see he looks a little bit different. Um, he's got like, uh, the colors are all like a little deeper. The levels and everything are a little more moody. And he'll, he'll pull out his sword. So that's what he's like when he's all ready to attack. Yeah, so I'm just working on the pixel art for him today. I'm fleshing out all his animations, basically. So my goal for today, finish that. Frost. Lock. Esteban. Uh. Whoops. Oh, never mind. Let's just do this. Starting here. Jeff. Can't forget Jeff. Eugene? Eugene Merman? I love Eugene Merman. He's a crazy cool comedian. Lord of the Biscuits. I require two of your biscuits every week.
Merc? That's cool, and I like that. Merc. Holy crap. 32 by 9? That's like two 16 by 9s together? Is that right? Does the math work out that way? When you add 16 by 9 twice, you get 32 by 9? I think so. I think that's, I think that's how it works, right? Sometimes it's like basic math. I don't know. Right? It's like having two monitors. Oh, sweet. You got a portrait and a landscape monitor? Ah, that's cool. So what do you use the portrait mode for? <laughs> like web, web pages and reading and stuff? Ugh. Oh, websites. Oh, like extra windows. Like you need to look stuff up. Totally. Oh, programming. Oh. I never thought of that. Programming probably is awesome with a lot more of a portrait display. Twitch chat. Whoa. Dang, there's a lot of really great uses for a portrait mode. I've never had a portrait mode monitor ever I've never been so so smart
Right, I imagine it totally would be. Rake, Gale, Kean, Corn, Kirill. Nice, I love these. I'm going to make a little note right now. What was that other one? Oh, Merc. These are cool names. Yeah, so see you Eves, later, man. I will. I'll mix that up. See ya. Sweet. Nice, mo nice studio monitors. What kind of monitors are, are I mean, these uh, speakers? Sweet. Is that Goku? And you got the controllers out. Oh. This is cool. Look, dude, you got a really rad setup. A nice, you have a nice mic for recording too. Wow. Beautiful, man. So beautiful. This looks like a rad machine down here, too, running it. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah, your plate, your space is cluttered. I hear ya. Mine's super cluttered. <laughs> I mean, not out here, but like all this like stuff that's going on right here. It's just, it's like, I got little cubby holes for everything and like controllers, wires, dust, dirt. You know, like bits of weed. Tons of weed, man. There's just like literally, there's just like shake everywhere, all over, all over my desk. Ah, oh, love it. I love it this way. Next frame, come on, man. I'm I'm so slow right now. I'm like half distracted. Cue acoustics, huh? There's an amp. This is the amp. Okay, cool. That's a cool, that's a nice little amp, man. How many how many watts is the amp? Sweet, dude. Oh, and it's a USB. That's cool. You don't have to like run a separate sound card. You don't have to do a separate sound card with that 
awesome computer you probably have right there. You probably have like a dope sound card. Someday, yeah. Right on. Forty-five watt per channel. Wow, man, that's pretty good for such a small little thing. Gotta get some water. Wow. Right on. Yeah, that's the power of some good speakers, man. Some good studio monitors. All right, so it's like rot I love using the rotate. I love like grabbing little groups of pixels and then rotating them till it works with what you're trying to do, and then just cleaning it up. It's a simple way to like make pixel art work.
Oh, really? Oh. So your motherboard has an on onboard, huh? Huh. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That's so cool. Is it wait, is this from V's V for Vendetta? Oh yeah, <laughs> I love that. I almost wanted to be there. I'm like, wow, that would be so fun to be at this place, wherever this is. This is you, 347. It is a hobbit hole filled with books. Oh, yeah. I'm really clean about my source code. That's like what I'm always clean about. That's like what I like to keep the neatest as possible. Even though I have like random comments here and there, I like to have a really good, I always keep the same style, you know? I always try to have a lot of comments and stuff like that. Make my source code look pretty, sort of. Oh yeah, aligning things, having comments. Yeah, yeah.
quiet over there, huh? You're making some noise in your apartment? Cool, man. What kind of noise are you making? You banging on some pots, pans? Rustling some plants? Are you, you grunt, like crumbling up paper? Maybe you're, maybe you're like just turned on the microwave. Maybe there's some birds outside. Hmm. How about a, how about a passing metro? What sounds are you hearing, man? Oh, keyboard noises. Nice. Face face rolling the keyboard. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I get all quiet when I'm like, I don't, really, I don't have anything really to talk about. I'm just kind of like doing some pixel art here. It's kind of a quiet day. I guess I'm working on spoiler alert stuff a lot lately. I've never seen this one before. It's cool. Yep, just in the zen, but into the zen of it all. All right, man. Yes, an, an update is coming soon. Yeah. Um, I had planned it for this Wednesday, but it's definitely not going to be this Wednesday now. So it's probably going to be um, uh, maybe f maybe Thursday or Friday, hopefully. But, but if in all reality, the latest, it'll be this Sunday. So for sure. There's an update coming out to Steam, and it's gonna have a lot of stuff in it too. This is this has the ending, um, so basically, Songbringer will be kind of a complete game from from this update on, and it'll mostly be final refinements and stuff like that till it's done. I'm excited! I'm excited! But dude, it was good chatting with you. I hope you have a great night, man. Have fun watching some shows. Yeah, will do, man. Will do. <laughs> nice one.
Hmm. All right, so this animation, got to throw this in the game, see how this is looking. Because I'm not sure at this point. Let's just call this one zero.
Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna break. Because it doesn't have melee to sword. Oh, and that's dang, that's gonna break too. All right, that looked pretty good actually for the little moment I got to see it. So, um, that's one more animation done. Call that one zero east. We can check it in. I noticed while watching that that it really did need both. Um, the one and the zero for him to be a really cool sword fighting enemy. So this is gonna take a while to pixel art all this. That was only one, basically I only got two animations done out of 12 or whatever, so I, shit, it's gonna take me at least the rest of the night just working on this. So yeah, there's no way in hell I'm gonna get the update done today, that's for sure. But pretty soon, I will have a an update for Steam. So this will have a lot of really cool, important stuff. The ending of the game will be in this next Steam beta update. So I'm excited to get that out. It's like a real big relief to have all this, at least part of the beta. So um, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll catch you all next time, all right? Okay, man. See ya. All right, see ya later. Okay, see ya. Bye, man. Later. Okay. Good night.